Again, our fellas, here we go with the Tempress. Temptress Choc Porter. Got a couple of strong drinks today, it's kicking in. Happy to see, we've only got 31 IBU, 14.6 OG, whatever the hell that means, an EPC of 88. I don't even know what that means. Here's that, I better study up. Straight from the gate. Luscious, robust porter. It's a cult classic. Real cocoa and whole vanilla beans. Alright, well this should be alright. Let's give it a crack. Should be alright. Where's the friggin' opener when you want it? There it is. <clears throat> Happy day. Woo! She's a lively one. Some of these beer tops, when you crack them like with a lighter or something, they sometimes fly off because of that full of gas. They whack you in the chest. It's amazing. I don't think, only one of them hurt, I reckon. It was like a bomb going off and hit me with a bullet. But anyway, the rest are just whatever. Cheers. Troc Porter. Way to go. It's only, I think it was 6%. I'll have a look. We got malt, we got pale Vienna, crystal and brown and chocolate. And carafa and oats. <laughs> That's a malty one, boys. And hops, only topaz. Alright. 6%. Yeah, I do like a, a malty beer. It's certainly malty. Oh, boy. Someone asked me if I've ever done much travelling lately, and I said no. I sold my house and bought a new one. Haven't worked so hard in all my friggin' life, I tell you. Anyway, life's what it is. You don't put in, you don't get fuck all out of it. In my life, I used to do, like, when I was young, I could handle it. I'd do 100 hour weeks. I'd start at, like, leave the house at 6 in the morning. And I'd come home about 10 at night. Some days I'd come home at 12. And occasionally I'd come home at 3 or 4 in the morning. There was that much work to do. I remember, remember doing one million dollar job with me and a friggin' apprentice. It was ridiculous. And I kept asking for more blokes. And more blokes. So I was just crazy. I just got the Gave me six blokes, but you know, imagine trying to run a million dollar job on your own with a friggin' apprentice. It was a fucking nightmare, mate. You couldn't order things because you're too busy trying to get things done because the builders were working till 10, 11, 12 at night trying to knock things over. Oh, it was a hell, hell time. Anyway, when I left the, me boss, the last boss I worked for, Philip Ross Electrical, uh, he went broke after that. I remember I'd make him 17 grand in three weeks. I was cleaning up. As soon as I left, and a few other good blokes left, we all left because we can't become numbers. When you're part of a family, you'll work hard. You'll make your boss big money, you know, and he used to chip us out two, three hundred bucks, take us out for brekkie, you know, give us a little bit of cash here and there. But you put it in. Yeah, it was nearly killing you, you know, doing 100 hour weeks for three months, I didn't have a day off. You know what I mean? That's ridiculous. In the end of it, I lost five grand on the stock market, so it was a waste of fucking time. Shouldn't have done it. Hmm. Anyway, the Choc Porter. The whole guy won't be happy with me. I've done a big fucking spiel about all this other crap instead of talking about the beer. It's not about the beer, it's about life. It's staying positive, no matter what happens, it just builds you. You know, cop it on the chin occasionally, who gives a fuck? You know, don't be a wuss. Get out there and fucking do some different things. Come unstuck occasionally. You know, big deal. That's good. It's, it's character building. Alright fellas, I've um, had a few beers and I had about I don't know, I had a couple of um, ports with a coffee in the afternoon. That was nice. We found a bottle of port. 
my mate's uncle's house, uh, under the house, and it was where my, my mate, where my uncle passed away just recently, and um, yeah, I went around the house and had a look, and when their dad died, or Pete's dad died, I did the same, I went around and helped the family a little bit, cleaning things out, and just checking the wiring and whatever because they had to sell the house and no, it was all good and today was a bit the same you know just checking out a few things through the house and making sure it's all right to sell and oh, i was happy days yeah